My name is Kishwani. That's K E K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 39. We have been solving some percentage problems for the last few days. And today we're going to do set number 6. Let's get going. Here's the first problem. The question is what percent what percent of 5 is 6 what percent of 5 is 6 and if you have watched the last 5 sets of, of the problems that we've been solving you know now that in order for us to solve in order for us to come up with the proper equation we must use this we must use this translation guide we must use this translation menu and translate every word every single word one word at a time and you'll see that the right equation will emerge automatically. Let's do it. What means the unknown, the x. Percent means, percent means exa exactly what it says, per 100. Out of 100. Per 100. 5. What percent, what percent, oh, I should say what percent of, what percent of, which means times, of means times, the so multiply, what percent of 5 is, means equals 6. That's it. We have our equation. Let's solve for x. And x will equal, bring the 100 to the top here, we end up with 6 over 100. 6 times 100, bring the 5 to the bottom. Divide top and bottom by 5, and there are 25 in 100. 6 times 6 times 20 is 120. So that's our answer. Our answer is 120. X equals 120 is what we're claiming. Let's put it back in here. In place of what? We're going to replace it with 120 and see if this statement makes sense. It's no longer a question mark. This is our claim. And our claim, our claim is 120%. 120% of 5 is 6. Let's see if it makes any sense. We know, we know 100%, we know 100% of 5, how much is 100% of 5? Well, 100% of 5 is 5 itself. And then other 20%, other 20% of 5, well, 20% means the fifth. 20% of anything is a fifth. So a fifth, a fifth of a 5, of course, is 1. A fifth of a 5 is 1, which is, which is 20%. So 20% of 5 is 1. Since 20% of 5 is 1 and 100% of 5 is 5, if we were to add them up, we, we should get 120% of 5 equals 6, which is exactly what we claim here, which is exactly what we're claiming here. 120% of 5 is, is means equals 6. 120% of 5 is 6, which is exactly what we claim, which means our claim is correct. That means our claim is valid. Let's do one more, shall we? Try to do it yourself. As soon as I set up the problem, pause the video, solve it yourself. Here's the next one. 75% of 44 is same as 30% of what? Do it yourself first. Seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent of anything is three quarter. Three quarter of forty-four. Of means times. Forty-four is same as. That means equals thirty percent. Thirty percent is three tenth. Of means times x. We have to get the x by itself. Let's multiply both sides by 10. So this 10 drops out. And let's divide both sides by 3. If we divide both sides by 3, this 3 drops out. I did not show you here multiplying 10 both sides by 10 because I was running out of room. So that's it. x equals, our x equals 10 over 3 times 3 quarters times 44. And let's see what that gives us. We see 3 on the top, we see 3 on the bottom, that 3 is going to drop out, 
from that tree, they're going to kill each other. We see 44 on the top, we see 10, uh, we see 4 on the, on the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 4. That's going to kill this 4, and 44 is going to become 11. So with 11 times 10, what we're claiming is that, what we're claiming is that x equals 110. Let's see if our claim is valid. Put it back in here. Now it's no longer a question mark, it's a claim that we're making. It's 110. That's our claim. 3 quarter of 44, what we're claiming is that 3 quarter of 44 is same as 30% of 110. Let's see if it's correct. Or 3 quarter of 44, it's very simple. 3 quarter of 44. Of course, the quarter of 44 is 11. 3 quarter is going to be 33. As you can clearly see, if we divide top and bottom by 4, is 11 times 3, which is 33. So that's, that's the part that we see on the left, on the left hand side. 3 quarter of 44 is same as, now let's do this part, 30% of 110. 30% of 110 is what we have to find, but before we worry about 30%, let's ask ourselves how much is 10%. 10% of 110 is just 11. If 10% of 110 is 11, then it stands to reason that 30% has got to be 3 times as much, which is 33, which is exactly what we claim. It makes perfect sense. It fits. It fits. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. This time, we're just going to do it very fast. Because we've been at it for a while now, we can, we can go a little bit faster. 40% of 30% of what is 36. 40%, 40%, which is same as 40 over 100, but I'm not going to write that down as 40 over 100, we know what 40% is, we know our fifths, you must know your fifths, you must know your tenths, you must know your eighths, you must know your quarters. If you don't know them, go back and watch the videos where we learn these concepts, we learn them early in the course, today is day number 39, look for videos, we, talk, we look for videos with the heading of tenths and the fifths, on the video with the heading of quarters and the eighths. I take it for granted that you know your quarters and the eighths, the tenths and the fifths by heart. 40% when you reduce it is same as two fifths. Two fifths of two fifths of off means times 30% that's 3 over 10. Off means times what is the unknown is means equals 36. We have to get the x by itself, so let's do it. x by itself would be 36 times 5 times 10 over whatever you see on the top here, 3 times 2. 3 times 2. All we have to do now is simplify it. I see 2 on the top, I, I see 2 on the bottom, I see 10 on the top. Let's kill it, make it a 5. I see 36 on the top, I see 3 on the bottom, let's divide by 3, and 1 and 2. So it's 12 times 5 times 5, 5 times 5, 5 times 5 is 25, so x would be claiming is 12 25s. Question is, how much is 12 25s? How the hell do I know what 12, 12 25s? I know what 4 25s are, 4 25s I know is 100, 4 25s I know is 100, therefore 12 25s, 1225, which is 4 times 3, has got to be 300. 1225s are 300 because 425s make 100. And 1225s is what you're going to find. 1225s are what we're going to find in 300. First 100 will have 425, another 100 will have another 425, that's 825, and then third 300 will have altogether 1225s. So the answer is 300. Let's put it in here. Our claim now, our claim now is that 30, 40% of 30% of of 300 is 36. And this is no longer a question mark. It's a, it's a claim that we're making. Let's see if that claim is correct. Let's see if our claim is valid. So let's find out first 30% of 300. 
we know 10% of 300, we know 10% of 300 would have to be 30, therefore 30% would have to be 3 times as much. 10 times 3 is 30% of 300 would have to be 3 times as much, which is 90. So now we have 30% of 300, we know 30% of 300 is 90, and now we have to take 40% of that. 40% 40 of 90 is same as, is same as 2 fifths of 90. 2 fifths of 90. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. How many, how many 5 does 9 have? 9 has 1 5. 9 has 1 5. The remaining 4 goes and joins the 0 and becomes 40. And 40 has 8 5s. 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is 36. See this 5 goes away because we just divided top and bottom by 5. Now if you again do not know what I'm doing here, everything that we, that we are doing here has already been covered. Look for division videos and learn how to divide without doing the long hand work without doing it like a baby, learn how to divide like a grown-up person. Do you understand? If somebody asks you to divide, I'm just going to make up a number. I'm just going to make up a number. Um, 7, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm, I'm just making it up. you understand? If somebody were to ask you to divide 87,654,321 by 3, you should know how to do it. It's not a big deal. You should be able to do it without the long division and without the calculator. I won't do it here right now because I want to finish this thing. Maybe we'll do one more one more problem and then we'll actually do it. Just because I, because I brought it up, I can't just leave it like that. We're going to divide that number by 3 when the time comes. Let's do one more problem first. Even though by doing so the video will get to be too long, but that's okay. I'll do the next one fast. The next one is, what is 2.5% of 1160. Well, that's quite straightforward. You could actually set up the equation and do it out in a very classical way, very traditional way, very orthodox way, very academic way, very geeky way, very nerdy way, like we've been doing. Or we can just take a shortcut, which is simply, which is simply to realize that 10%, 10% of, I'm not going to write everything out, 10% of 10% of 1160, I'm not writing everything out. 10% of 1160 is simply 116. If 10% is 116, that implies that 5% has to be half of that. Let's divide it by 2. 11 has, 11 has 5 2's. The remaining one goes and joins the 6 becomes 16. That gives us 8. We get 58 here. Now that's 5% because we just divided by 2. Now we have 5%. Let's, divide, let's take half of that. And half of 5% would be 2.5%. And two and a half percent would be whatever we get here. Five has five has two twos. The remaining one goes and joins the eight becomes eighteen. Eighteen has nine twos. The answer is twenty-nine. The answer is twenty-nine. Two and a half percent. Two and a half percent of one thousand one hundred and sixty. Two and a half percent of one thousand one hundred and sixty is twenty-nine. Why? Because twenty-nine. 29 times 4, let's see what it is, 9 4 is 36, carry 3, 8 2, 4 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11, do you see? 8 2 is 11, something has gone wrong drastically. 29 is what I got here, 29 times 4, 9 4 is 9 4 is 36, 6 carry 3, 8 plus 2 is 11. Well, there you go. It makes perfect sense because 29, watch what here, 29 represents 2.5%. 29 represents 2.5%. So if you're going to multiply it by 4, 2.5 times 4 should represent 10%. This, is, this 29 is 2.5%. By the time you do 4, this represents 10%. And that is correct. 10% of 1160 is in fact 116. Now let's finish up. Since I dug myself a hole, let's get, uh, let's get ourselves out of the hole. We're going to divide this number by 3 very quickly. By hand, by hand, without the calculator, 
and not doing it like a, as I said before, baby, not the long division. We're going to go do it the grown up method. 87 million 654 321. First of all, is this number even divisible by 3? Is it number even divisible by 3? We have to first check that. Well, even if it's not divisible by 3, it doesn't matter. We'll have a remainder. But I just, I'm just curious. Is it divisible by 3? How do we know if a number is divisible by 3? If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. Look for the video where, where with the heading of is 1-800-808-PREP, my phone number, 1-800-808-PREP, divisible by 3. Watch that video and learn how to divide any given number by 3 like we are about to do here. So the theory tells us that we have to take the sum of the digits. That's the theory. In practice, in practice we can cheat. Instead of taking the sum of all the digits together, we can look at individual digits. And if you find individ any individual digit or digits, uh, maybe a pair of digits, maybe three digits, which add up to some number which is divisible by three, then we can ignore those digits. For example, 8 plus 7 is 15. When we, want to, when we want to find out is this number divisible by 3? Well in that, in that question these two digits do not play any role because they add up to 15. I see a 6, 6 is divisible by 3, that's not going to play any role. I see a 3, that's not going to play any role because 3 is divisible by 3. 5 plus 4 is 9 and 9 is divisible by 3, that's not going to play any role. And 2 plus 1 is 3 which is divisible by 3, which means this number is indeed evenly divisible by 3, we'll have no remainder. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it on the top. All right, let's do it here. Six, five, four, three, two, one, divided by three. That's what we're doing. How many threes in the eight? Eight has, eight has two threes. The remaining two goes and joins the seven, becomes 27. 27 has nine threes. Six has two threes. Five has one three. The remaining two goes and joins the four, becomes 24, and 24 has how many threes in a twenty? How many threes in a twenty-four? Seven threes are twenty-one. Twenty-eight. Eight threes are twenty-four. Three has one three. How many threes does two have? Two has no threes. Two has no threes. That two goes and joins the one becomes twenty-one. That two joins the one and becomes twenty-one, and twenty-one has seven threes. Well, that's it. There is your answer. Twenty-nine million two hundred eighteen thousand. 107 is what we're going to find if we were to divide if we were to divide 87 million 654,321 I know